Next question is from Daniel Delgado 6. I've been training for a while under the influence of marijuana. Basically, every workout I've done for the past four to six months. Is this bad? I get this actually a lot. <laughs> I know. People, because I openly talk about my marijuana usage, yeah. people always want to know if I'm high working out. Yeah. Like, I, I, so, I did not, I I did not like it working out. Yeah. I hate it. No. It's like, I may, okay, if I'm doing, um, like when I was competing, if I was doing like a, an hour of- well, How do you ramp it up? Yeah. yeah, if, yeah if, like, well, I mean, it relaxes you. Yeah. So, and- It's I, great you, for mobility. I want to be yeah. tight, intense. Yeah, exactly. So if I was doing mobility or cardio where I want my mind to go to another place- and just kind of like get into what I'm doing because mm -hmm. it's repetitive, whatever you're doing, right? If you're doing mobility or you're doing cardio work. Uh, but training is, uh, I don't know, I want to be fully alert <laughs> and tight and rigid. Well, studies, right? <laughs> studies show that it reduces explosive performance, but it may help with endurance. stamina and yeah. endurance and pain tolerance. Mm -hmm. So that may be where the person, you know, might get a better workout from it. Now, I'm going to be careful in, when I say you don't want to be dependent on anything to do your workouts. And the reason why I'm careful is because most of us are dependent on another drug. Caffeine. Uh, which is caffeine yeah. to do our workouts. I, these days, rarely ever work out without having caffeine. So I would sound like a hypocrite to say, you know, you probably shouldn't work out uh, under the influence of anything. Now, here's the deal with cannabis and your body. It probably has negative effects on your hormones, probably because the human studies are mixed. But the animal studies are pretty consistent. They show that it does reduce uh, testosterone production in animals. In humans, it's mixed, it, probably an estrogenic effect. In fact, if you go to your doctor and you're an adult male and you have gynecomastia, which is development of breast tissue, and you're not taking anabolic steroids and you don't have other types of issues, one of the first things they'll ask you is, do you use a lot of cannabis? And then they'll have, they'll have you reduce it because it's been shown to cause that yeah. in men. So doing that and then working out is there a potential negative effect? You know, again, the challenge is controlling all the factors. Is the, the fact that he's using can he or she is using cannabis making him more consistent? In other words, if he didn't use the cannabis to work out, he'd be less consistent? Well, we got to weigh that in too. But let's say everything is equal. So using it or not, he would still work out consistently. I would say it's probably a net negative because of its effects on inflammation and hormones. It's probably reducing kind of the muscle building, you know, signal that to being, some extent. That being said, though, I mean, if it's if it's not, I think their their big concern is like, is it killing my gains? Right? Like when someone mm -hmm. asks a question like this, or yeah. when I get DMs about this, I get it a lot. Like people are just like concerned that is this killing my gains? Am I going to the gym, but because I'm going high, I'm getting fifty percent of the benefits that I would I don't get? See, I like, haven't heard a lot of people actually working out like uh, high versus like people are using it as like a recovery afterwards. I like, get it, especially a lot. with a lot of athletes where their their output is so extreme that you know it actually like helps them sort of to to uh, get down more into you know a, a steadier heart rate I, I know a lot of people that use cannabis before they work out oh so do i i yeah. get i it's actually up there with one of the top dms yep. I get. yeah no it's one huh. of the top dms and i think that a lot of that has to do one obviously i talk about it openly on the show so everybody just assumes i'm this super stoner and ask me all marijuana <laughs> questions and then i also just think that it's been accepted chronic user of chronic. i mean just 10 years ago I mean, I forget what the statistics were on how many people. Uh, Bro, in the sixty, in the seventies, a lot of bodybuilders used marijuana before. They I know, out. but I mean, as far as like the general population, yeah. as far as the acceptance of marijuana, where I mean, now in California, you can go walk into it like a liquor store and go buy. Bro, so dispensaries people look do like everything high now. Yeah, yeah. let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. Like, well, a lot of things are better high. Yeah, let's be the honest. Workouts here. are just a lot the of part are. of that. Yeah. But I prefer like movies and stuff over my my just day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I will. I will say like if you're gonna do stretching. If you're gonna do mobility, cardio, yeah. I could see that. I have done it and lifted weights just to test it out. Me too. And it definitely doesn't work for strength and power of, and performance for me. But if I'm like just trying to get a pump, and I'm just squeezing and focusing and concentrating on muscles and isolating, then I could maybe see. I could see that. Yeah. I could see a day where I'm like beat up. I know I I shouldn't go heavy. Maybe that's one of the ways to keep me from going heavy. Is mm -hmm. like oh, I'm gonna go in stoned, and so I'm gonna be just <laughs> yeah. cruise around, take I think long rest just periods, on that lightweight, get nice pumps. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I dude. There's see this, that. there's this huge community of people that will smoke weed and that or eat it and then do jujitsu, like a huge. 
community. Uh, well, people. so I kind of see that because that sport you are supposed to be kind of loose, right? Really? Loose. Like and you, you don't want to be rigid and, and stiff and tight. Yeah, and, and, and especially when you're thinking game. ahead too, right? In terms of your moves and everything. And so like, it seems like it's uh, There was a tournament. I don't somewhat. remember where the tournament was. And the uh, I think it was like in a, the zone. I, I don't know if it was a 10th planet uh, jujitsu tournament. The 10th planet's Eddie Bravo, obviously mm -hmm. big, you know, pot advocate or whatever. And they actually, before they did the match, they smoked a joint all like together in front of everybody, uh, and then they awesome. did jujitsu. <laughs> so there's like this big, and there's this, and there's this whole other side that's like so anti. Well, I mean, you, I would, I could see that though, right? Because it's so like uh, conducive to like flow state, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and that, I mean, it could promote that, right? So if you're doing, that's where I think marijuana has some benefits. Like if you're doing something where getting into flow is super beneficial. Uh, yeah. I could see the, the like, I know get, a lot of snowboarders. I mean, I, that's some of the things, some of the things I like to do, like before I ride, I totally like really? it. Yeah. Which, which is counter to what you're saying, right? Cause obviously if I'm doing a hard cut or a jump or something, yeah, but you're just trying to cruise probably. Yeah. I'm just trying to cruise and I want to, and I want to be so into what I'm doing. And so I just, you know, being high when I'm doing that makes it, I, yeah. I can feel a difference. But look, at it. the end of the day, I think you got to be careful, right? You can abuse yeah. it. You can abuse anything. I've known my share of stoners that just became completely. <laughs> well, to me, have you ever worked out? Have you ever worked out? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're going to be that guy. Yeah. Don't be that guy.